Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Stav and this is my channel, She Equips Herself. Today I'm bringing you a fall concealed carry outfits video. I feel very blessed to live in a place that experiences all four seasons. And of the four, fall is definitely my favorite. By this time, I'm kind of over the heat. I'm ready to put on some layers and wear my sweaters and jackets again. And it's also hunting season, so definitely my favorite time of year. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different outfits. I have a whole rack of clothing here. You might have some of these items in your wardrobe. So I'm gonna show you different ways to conceal in different outfits and give you some ideas because while I might not necessarily use all of these holsters through the fall or like throughout the week, I usually stick to one or two. I want to present you with a bunch of different options because our body types are probably different. We have different lifestyles, different needs. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of different options to hopefully find a good solution for you if you're having a tough time trying to figure out how to carry. And I also have a new holster here that I've been testing out and I wanna show you guys because I think that it could be really beneficial for a lot of you and a good solution for some of you out there. So I'm gonna be showing you how I carry my Glock 42. I have been carrying this a lot lately. I know that some of you might miss seeing the shield in this, these videos, but I've just been carrying this gun a lot lately. I'll talk about it in an upcoming video. It has an empty magazine, no round in the chamber. So let's get started with the first outfit. Okay, so this is the first outfit. There's some gray jeans with a sweater and a pair of boots. These are by Jessica Simpson. These are from Express. I don't remember where the sweater is from, but I'll find the links for as many of these items as I can and I'll link them all below. Um, but this is just a really simple, casual fall outfit. And you could conceal it in so many different ways in something like this. I could do a corset, a belly band, an inside the waistband holster with a belt if I was into that sort of thing. Off body carry. I chose to use a belly band. This is my favorite belly band and it's made by Can Can Concealment. Unfortunately, they've recently gone out of business. So I'm trying to find another company that I like just as much, which is gonna be challenging because these belly bands are amazing. If you were fortunate enough to get one before they went out of business, they have silicone on the inside, which allows it to stick to your body. There are lots of pockets. So my gun's right here, I have my pepper spray. I have my pocket knife right here. And you can wear it over your pants or underneath your pants. I like to wear them over my pants if I have a long sweater on top, just because it's more comfortable for me that way. And I like to wear mine a little off center just to hide the grip of the gun better. All right, here's the next outfit. This one's also casual. Um, I've been noticing these cropped vests have been very in right now, and I think they're really cute, so I ended up buying one for myself. Um, it has an elastic here, so you can make the bottom tighter if you wanted to, but I like wearing them open like this with just all black underneath. So these leggings are by Alexo Athletica. These are actually concealed carry leggings, so they are designed to hold a gun in the waistband. However, I have like a more cropped top here and the cropped vest. So if I wore a gun right here, it would kind of show. So I had to think of a different way to carry in this outfit. So let me show you what I've got going on here. Okay, so I've got my gun in that holster pocket. You can see it shows. So if I had a top that went to here at least, that would be great. I love these leggings. I wear them all the time with so many different outfits. But because my top is more cropped, I don't want to carry that way. Okay, so instead, I have this Dean Adams bra holster, and it's like a sports bra. I'm gonna try not to flash you all, because this isn't OnlyFans. But it has a pocket right here for your gun. So you can see the gun goes right into that pocket. And then, if I lower my shirt over it, it covers the whole thing. You can't see it, especially if I have a vest on that's kind of covering the sides. If I didn't have the vest, it might be a little, a little more obvious. It's still not super obvious, but I like having the vest over it just as another layer. And then if I needed to get to my gun, it's just right in that pocket. And these sports bras are very comfortable. 
They come with a retention strap here that's made of Velcro, but I cut mine off because I just find that they get in the way and the gun's really secure in here anyway. So I just don't like having those. If you like having those, then leave it on. That's just personal preference. So it's a very fast draw from this holster. It's very secure and comfortable. Um, it just feels like you're wearing a sports bra, honestly. There's nothing like, there's nothing annoying about it. So I have a page on my website, sheerquipsyourself.com, that's all my favorite things. If you're ever looking for discount codes or anything, um, I have them all listed there. For example, I do have a Dean Adams discount code. I'm gonna show you another, maybe two more Dean Adams holsters that I like. Um, but if you like any of these products, visit that page or check the links below and you can possibly get a discount on some of these things. All right, next we have this corduroy long sleeve dress. I just rolled up the sleeves and a pair of cowboy boots. <laughs> my dog's in here. Um, okay, so normally you guys know I love my thigh holsters and my Can Can Conceal My Thigh holsters are my favorite. But since they've gone out of business, I can't recommend that to you if, it's, if you want to buy something and you don't have one already. So I'm gonna show you the Dean Adams Concealed Carry Shorts. So these are designed to be worn under a skirt or dress. They're kind of like Spanx. The concealed carry pockets on the inside of the thigh. I, I'm pretty sure they make one with the concealment pocket on the outside of your other leg if you prefer that. Um, you can't carry a larger gun in here. My Glock 42 is almost too big. So if you have something bigger than that, just be aware. It comes up pretty high. Um, but the length of these shorts are perfect for a dress like this. They're very comfortable. They don't ride up. And there's no seam here, so they don't show through even something tighter. And then to draw, you just pick up your dress and you can get your gun out like that. So not a difficult draw. These also had a retention strap that was Velcro, but I cut that off too, because I just don't like those, but that's personal preference. They're very comfortable, but just be mindful of the size of the gun you're carrying. Okay, here's the next one. Um, I have some flare jeans, which are back in, by the way. High school me is just thrilled about that. I have a flannel shacket. This is a cropped shacket. I know that a lot of them are longer, but I'm short and I feel like I kind of drown in those. So I found a little cropped one that I really like. And then a bodysuit underneath. Bodysuits can make concealment a bit challenging because having something on your waist is sort of impossible because um, your shirt doesn't hang over. It goes inside your pants. And that's the same if you just tuck in a shirt. So with this outfit, if I tried to conceal my waist, maybe small of the back, but my favorite way to conceal in something like this is this bag. I'm obsessed with this bag. I've been carrying so much in this bag. Um, I say this, I feel like I say this in all my videos now, but if you have problems with off-body carry, that's cool. But before you leave a negative comment on my video, check out my video, this video specifically, but I have a whole bunch of videos on off-body carry where I talk about my thoughts on it, how to be safe with it, etc. So make sure you watch those videos first. But this is one of my favorite ways to carry lately. I have one in black as well. This one's the black one right here. And I actually bought spares because I want to have them for years to come. And if these eventually like wear out or fall apart, I want more. So I have some on standby just in case. I made a video where I showed you how I made this bag into a concealed carry bag because it's not designed for it. So make sure you check that out. But this bag makes it easy to carry in so many different outfits. I added a lock to it to make it easier to open the concealment pocket. My gun's right in there. And it's in an entirely separate compartment because this bag has two compartments. Let me just show you from my view. So it has the first pocket that has all my, um, you know, purse stuff in it. And then the back pocket with the lock on it is where my gun hangs out. I love this bag. And it's just a nice option for outfits that make it more difficult to carry a firearm. I also want to show you a similar bag with a less fancy style. This one looks a little bit more tactical and also has a optional side pouch that you can remove if you want to to hold your stuff. But this is designed to hold a gun. So let me just show you the inside of this bag. It has a Kydex holster in it with Velcro on the back. So. And the Velcro on the back, you can put it on either side of the holster, so if you're a lefty, you could switch it. And you can angle this however you want in here, because this is all just Velcro. Then you take your gun, put it right in that holster. You can hear it click in, so it's really secure in there. I just have to readjust this. 
You don't want the grip or the sides to get stuck. So then it has these two tabs on the left and right. So again, ambidextrous. I'm gonna leave this one out and then just zip it to that tab. And then if I need to get to my gun, I can just pull on the tab and get the gun out. Super fast, secure. Um, this one does look a little more tactical, like I said. And it also has this pouch here. And that's where you can put your extra mags, your lip gloss, your credit cards, your keys, whatever you want. And this comes off with Velcro. So it has this Velcro loop on the back. You can put it back on here if you want. You can put it on your back if you want. You cannot wear that if you want. Um, because this also has other pockets. So it has a front pocket you can put all your stuff in and there's a pocket on the back as well, right here, non-gun pocket. And this can also be worn as a waist belt. So you can also just wear it as a fanny pack, which is also kind of cute, I like that. This is a more um, male-friendly version than the one I previously showed you. I mean, you do you, but I think my husband would be more likely to wear something like this than this. <laughs> this bag is made of really good quality materials. If you're interested in this bag, I'm going to link 945 Industries below so you can check them out. If I have a discount code, I'll also include that information. I'm not sure if I do, I have to check. I don't know any clothing item more fall than a poncho. Are these not the best? If you haven't tried a poncho yet, you're missing out. They're comfy, they're warm, it's like wrapping a warm blanket around yourself except you're allowed to walk around outside in it. They also make amazing concealment. You can probably carry several guns on your waistline and no one would know. So this one's pretty easy. I'm just wearing my corset holster by Dean Adams. I have pen on it because I've had this thing for like seven years and I love it. And I got an ink stain on it, so I apologize for that. And then just a bodysuit underneath. My gun's in here. Practice that draw. So I think a poncho is a solid investment for the fall because if you're trying to figure out a way to carry one day and you need to run out the door, you can just throw a poncho over whatever you have on and you have instant concealment. I hope this video gave you a little inspiration for your fall concealed carry wardrobe. If you guys are still trying to bridge the gap between wanting to carry guns and actually having the confidence to carry a gun, make sure you check out my online courses. They're designed to bridge that gap in a very convenient way on your own time. So make sure you check the links below for anything I showed or mentioned in this video. Let me know what you thought in the comments and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, bye.